Hi, I'm Trish with FireplaceVideosHD.com and I would like to share my recipe with you for Fireside Wassel, which our family affectionately calls Weasel. I'll tell you about that in a second, but let's get everything in the pot and get it simmering first. So, this is everything you need and it's really, really simple. You start out with two quarts of apple juice or apple cider, which I'll pour in first. Now that I've got something in the pot, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, let it start warming up. Because we're gonna to wanna to bring this to a boil. Okay, now we need two cups of pineapple juice. And you can watch me try not to spill this. Eh, not too bad. You can also get the little tiny pineapple juices. It takes, I think, about three or four of them. But the big ones, um, less expensive. Next, you're gonna need two cups of orange juice. This is a great non-alcoholic drink if you have family members or friends that, or you, don't drink alcohol. Or it's great for a kid's party too. And then you need three quarters cup of lemon juice. There, that looks good. Pour in a little kick right there. Great. Need a half cup of sugar. I probably because of the lemon juice. <laughs> okay, and then you'll also need two cinnamon sticks and 12 cloves and tie those up in some cheesecloth so they're easy to get out of the wassail. If you don't have cheesecloth, you can just throw them in there, but it's just more work later to try and fish them out. You don't want people to end up with a whole clove in their mouth. So I have to tell you my story about why we call it weasel. I found this recipe on the internet about 10 years ago and it, it actually comes from an unnamed library book, so there's a lot of history here. Um, but we had it one year for Christmas and my mom loved it. And my mom's just the sweetest thing on the planet, but she tends to confuse words sometimes. And the next year she was hoping that we'd have this again for Christmas and she's like, are you gonna have that yummy drink that I don't know, it was like called weasel or something. <laughs> but, oh yeah, mom, there's nothing like a good hot cup of weasel to bring in the Christmas spirit. So we call it weasel now, because I mean, we laugh so hard, we cry. I mean, how, how gross is that? You know, let's boil up some weasel. So give it a good stir, mix that sugar all around. Yeah, you just want to get it nice and hot. So it's just about boiling and then bring it back down to simmer. And I'm, you know, you just want to get all those cloves and cinnamon sticks all mixed in. I'm gonna put the lid on it so it'll come up to a boil a little faster. Okay, looks like it's boiling. So that's good. Now we can turn it down to low and let it simmer for 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes simmering with the lid on. I just took the lid off. You wanna leave the lid on, otherwise it starts to evaporate away. But one of the great things about tying this in cheesecloth is it's really easy to rescue before your guests arrive. That way no one gets a big thing in their drink. Um, one of the great things about this uh, fireside wassail though is, and I like to make it before we have company around the holidays, because it fills your house with the most fabulous smell. And especially if it's cold outside, it's just so nice to have something really hot that smells fantastic just waiting for people. It's always been a big hit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fireside wassail or a hot cup of weasel, whatever you want to call it. You can use our name, too. Mmm. Yum. It's sweet, but it's a little bit spicy because of the cloves and the cinnamon, so it's not too sweet and the orange juice just really tames down the pineapple juice. Oh my gosh. It's just the perfect combination of juices and spices. I just think it's like heaven. Merry Christmas.